does chicory taste like? It's quite bitter. Yeah. Quite nice with figs, actually. How are you going to prepare those chicorians? Uh, I'm actually going to cook them in a concentrated fish stock. Cool. That's cooking in the in the pressure cooker at the moment. Just so you know, guys, 35 minutes to go. Thank you. I've got my oil going to fry off the curry leaves. Now, I've never actually fried curry leaves before, and I'm tasting, I'm tasting the curry leaf, and it's actually quite nice. It actually dissolves in your mouth when you eat it. So that's been a bit of a revelation in many ways. I am being experimental in my ingredients because I'm left with no other choice, really. Are you going to use the figs in the end? Yeah, I, I most likely will. Marco doesn't want me to, but I think I will. <laughs> okay. Shannon. Yes, Marco. Georgia. Yes, Marco. 30 minutes to go. I've got my marin in cooking, and I can feel the pressure more than ever before. It is so intense. You'll be right. It'll be fine. You'll be right. I know. I want this immunity pin more than anything. And I'm so rattled with nerves, my hands are literally shaking. I get my chicken skin out of the oven. It's golden brown, it's crunchy. Yeah, lovely, Georgia. Good work. But now I've got the marin into boil, so I don't even know if I'm going to use the chicken skin. I've got all my trimmings, all those little bits of really beautiful fish, really crispy, and that's working well. That's rather clever what you've done there. How is Georgia doing? Is she OK? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, jo I completely blanked you out. This is ridiculous. Sorry. <laughs> Super competitive, Shannon. I, I, not being deliberate, but I'm, my apologies. Look, I, I'd like to go around and help Georgia right now, but time is not on my side. I've got to get a dish up. I don't really know whether this dish is going to be successful or not, but instinct is kicking in. I, I'm just got to get on with it. You know, Shannon, most chefs would have melted in your position. And very few chefs would have created the flavours that you created. Oh, thank you, Mark. Don't say I don't help you. No, no, thank you. That's all right. I don't mind tapping it through for you. Oh, yeah. Old so, habits die hard. They do. They do. It's instinct. It comes natural. Good cooks cook for others. <laughs> exactly. My time has gone off. That means that my marin has been in the boiling water for four minutes. So I cool it down, and now comes the tricky part getting the marin out of its shell. He looks cooked. It's going to be a great centrepiece of my dish. But I'm just having some difficulty getting the flesh out of the shell. It's just not coming away easily. It's so delicate. Oh. oh, it broke. What have I done? so, so soft. And I don't know how that flesh is going to come out of the shell. Oh. I've taken it out and I've broken off a piece of the tail, but I've still got most of the tail intact. It looks beautifully cooked, but I've definitely messed it up as I've tried to pull it out of the shell. Does that make a total mess of it? A little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that your marin? It is. Are you happy with it? It's beautifully cooked. It's just very delicate, the flesh. Is it meant to look like that? Should I put it in some butter in the pan? It's up to you. You want the pen? Yes. Make the right decision. I do know what I'm going to do. I'll fry it off with a little bit of butter to make that marin really shine, and then I can get on with making my lemon mayonnaise. What are you doing, Shannon? Toothpick. Yep. You can check to see if the fish is cooked. What are you looking for exactly? It should go through straight away. Yeah. Ooh. Just not quite there. I know that whatever Shannon's done, it's going to look amazing. So I really need to put some time and some detail into what I'm plating up. To plate up my dish, I put some lemon mayonnaise on the plate first. Eight minutes to go. Yes. 
does it take eight minutes to play the fish? One that's going to win me immunity being <laughs> yes. Are you feeling confident? Um, I'm happy with my elements, yes. Shannon. Yes, Marco. George is plating up already. Can you believe that? That's my star. <laughs> you trained her well. I yes. have. Good work, Georgia. I don't have any other elements that I need to finish off, and Shannon always says, make time and take time to plate up. Are you using your chicken skin? No. Georgia. Yes, Marco. Can I give you one little piece of advice? Yes. George, Matt and Gary, do they love crispy chicken skin? They love it. OK. Can you imagine your marron tail with that little bit of crispy chicken skin on the top? Yes, I can. With the mayonnaise? Yes, I can. Ah, yes. Yeah. See, just cut that in half on top. Uh -huh. Hide your mistakes. Yes, yes, Marco. Good work, George. Good work, Georgia. Georgia, Shannon, five minutes to go. Thank you, Marco. Yes, Marco. It's five minutes to go, and time is really slipping away. The fish is out of the oven, and I don't have time to remove the rest of the skin. It's just so many other elements that I need to finish. And I need to get started on my plate. The crumb on the top of the fish is diced fig, deep-fried curry leaves, some fried broken rice, and then there's some Thai basil leaves and some crispy fish pieces. And they're all there to help balance the bitterness of the chicory. Make sure you get everything on the plate, Shannon. Georgia, Shannon, one minute to go. Come on, one minute. One minute. How's it going, Georgia? Well, thank you, Marco. Does it look OK? Wow. Good work, Georgia. Georgia! Oh. Shannon, this is the moment. Ten seconds to go! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step away from your benches. That was so hot. Hi. You okay? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help you. That looks amazing. I can't believe that he cooked that dish with those ingredients. Yum. To cook that in 60 minutes with the worst ingredients you could be possibly left with is amazing. Well done, Georgia. Thank you, Marco. Are you happy with your dish? I am proud of it. Do you think you have a chance to win the bet? I think I do. Yes, Marco. Ah, uh, we're back. <laughs> 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 it's quite strange looking at Shannon over there, I'll be honest. <laughs> All I can say is what a lineup. Shannon against Georgia. Georgia. Were you terrified at the start of that cook? Absolutely. I would be too. <laughs> yeah, don't have words. At it. least you had Marco to mentor you, which was, uh, I don't think you could ask for anything better, let's be honest. No. So, Marco, how did they go in the kitchen? Georgia, I thought you did really well. Shannon, I felt for you. Thank you, Marco. I was glad I was in my shoes and not your shoes. <laughs> because I, I think had I been in your shoes, I think I would have really struggled. And if I'm going to be brutally honest, I don't think I'd have done as well as you did. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Beautiful. So, Georgia, what did you actually cook? What was the dish? I cooked the marron with blackberries and celery. Beautiful. So, Shannon, that meant you cooked... The John Dory with chicory and had a little fried uh, curry leaf on top. Interesting. All right. Shall we uh, reveal the scores? Georgia, you know what's at stake. The immunity pin. <laughs> I scored your dish. An eight out of ten. <laughs> Georgia, I scored your dish. Eight out of ten. <laughs> Chicken, skin and marron. Wow. <laughs> Just a beautiful combination. Congratulations. Thank you.
Georgia. I scored your dish. Nine out of ten. <laughs> Georgia, so many ingredients that I love at the moment, all on one plate. Just delicious, well done. Thank you. So Georgia, you have 25 points. Shannon, that means you need 26 to win. Well, two really interesting dishes. Shannon, I think you did a great job, and I scored it. Eight out of ten. Well done. You know what I love most? I loved all those little crispy, sweet, interesting things on top of the dory. So the curry leaves, the crispy rice, and also I found these little bits of kind of crispy, chewy fish, which I thought was really clever. Loved it. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Shannon, I scored your dish. A nine out yeah, of ten. Nice. Wow, the cooking of the fish, beautiful. So much technique there. And the fig, it just added a bit of sweetness that sort of counterbalanced against that chicory. It's quite bitter. Well done, Shannon. Thanks, Thank you. So, Shannon, you need a nine or more from me to win. Frost, I'm like. <laughs> you know that I love a tasty dish. Precious, how do I feel about a challenging one? I love them too. Nine out of ten. Yes. 